All this week, Storm Team 8 has been reviewing what you need to know before severe weather season arrives. Tonight, Chief Meteorologist Ellen Baca talks tornadoes. North side of Lowell, that's when we could see a potential tornado spin up. It's Coming out here, you can just definitely see a lot of trees down. Oh my God. That this storm and these storms caused. Look at this tree here. This was ripped right from the trunk. It's about then that a tornado appeared in the soybean field next door. Tornadoes can touch down anywhere. We saw evidence of that in New Orleans just last night. April is the month that Michigan has historically seen its most violent tornadoes. Smaller but more frequent tornadoes typically happen in May. Lake Michigan will not stop tornadoes from forming. In fact, one of West Michigan's biggest tornadoes of all time blew in from Lake Michigan. The parent storm dropping an EF4 the moment it touched shore in Saugatuck. This became the historic 1956 Standale tornado, a devastating EF5. In order for a tornado to form, you need wind shear. So what is wind shear? Wind shear happens anytime you have winds at different levels of the atmosphere that are moving at different speeds or directions. This will create a horizontal roll in the environment. And on sunny days, that horizontal roll can turn vertical. If that's ingested by a thunderstorm, then that can give a tornado the circulation it needs to form. Most of the tornadoes West Michigan has experienced in the last decade have been on the lower end of the enhanced Fujita scale. Still, even weak tornadoes can cause potentially life-threatening situations, like this EF-1 that struck Portland, Michigan in 2015. To stay safe during a tornado, it's important to get inside into a sturdy building to stay away from windows and exterior walls. For Storm Teammate, I'm Chief Meteorologist Ellen Baca.